Okay, just a little video here on uh, setting up for to check the amperage draw of the starter with uh, the high amp probe here and with the Virus lab scope. Okay, we got the high amp probe. We got her set all the way over to 400 volts. We got it zeroed out, so our line is as close to zero as we can get it. It's actually showing about 10 volt, 10 amps right now. Turn it down just a little bit. Try to get it just a little bit closer. Okay, that's probably about as close as we'll get it. We'll take it, we'll put it around our battery cable going to the starter. We got this set up on a 500 millivolt scale so we can, we should be able to see it just about peak amperage, how much it takes to get the starter to go. And then we should see a nice waveform. We got five sec, a five second sweep time across the bottom here. So here we go. We'll And that's plenty long. Stop the scope here. And roll it back. Yeah, so we took a little, probably close to like 500, 600 amps to get the starter rolling. And then as we got it moving, got a nice even waveform. And it's drawing about 150 amps to keep the motor crank. And then if you want, you can, if you want to see this in better definition, and you're not so worried about your peak amperage, then you would turn this, take the, hit the trace for channel one, and change that to probably like a, well, let's see, what do we got here? What can we, we can go from 500, we can go to 200 millivolt, and it would still show up. We'll try it here at 200 millivolt. Huh? And we can see we got a little better, little clearer definition. Okay, the next we'll take this and we'll take our amp probe. We'll go around the alternator cable and take this out. We'll put our starter relay back in. And we'll leave this just about the same here at about 200. Actually, we can change this. We'll go to uh, 100 millivolt scale. And we'll leave this at five seconds and we'll see how much amperage our alternator is putting out when we start the truck here. Oh, we got to switch it around. We'll have to switch this around the other direction. There we can see we're putting out our alternator right now is putting out right around 60 to 70 60 to 70 amps. We could probably take that trace, put a filter on it, and we get a little bit smoother line. Our amp your amperage is never gonna be a flat line, it's always gonna be show a little bit of a little bit of a waveform. Once the battery charges up a little bit more, we just drew it down a little bit our Waveform will probably get a little bit smoother. We heard the fan kick in there, so we started to draw a little bit more amperage. But you can see we're drawing about 60, about 60 amps. We're on a 100 millivolt scale, so we got about a 60 amp draw on our our, our alternator is putting out about 60 amps. We'll try this once. We'll take this and we'll put it around the ground cable and find it here. We got two ground cables. This is just the one ground cable. You can see the same thing. Only some of the ground is going through the ground cable to the engine. The rest is going through the ground cable through the chassis. So we're showing about 40 amps there. We'll take that back off here. Put it back around the alternator cable. Get it the right way. Here you see we're still right around 50. Oh, gotta get this thing on there, right? Right around 60 to 70 amps output right now. So, that's about it. Your millivolt scale here on alternator, probably 100, maybe 200 if you got a big truck, or if you want to load test your alternator, you probably want to go to 200 amp scale. But either a five or a two second sweep time should be good. So, that's about it.